Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I'm going to be showing you what I packed for lunch this week in school. I'm going to be showing you the recipes and how I put everything together. So let's get started. On Monday, I woke up a little earlier to prepare my lunch and I'm spraying down my pan with some nonstick spray. And I'm going to do pigs in a blanket today. So I have my croissant rolls and some mini hot dog sausages. And I kept seeing these all over the place when I went to Walmart, like in the middle of the aisles. So I was tempted to get them. And I used to love when I was little and they had these at birthday parties next to the chips. Like I would eat so many of these. Right now I'm cutting the pastries in half and then I'm just going to roll the hot dog because I thought that whole one was just too much bread. And I wanted to balance it out. Now that everything is set, I'm putting it in the oven and I'm just going to wait till it's done. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare my lunch box with the sides. I'm doing some ketchup in my little ketchup compartment. And I'm also going to do some grapes on the side. As well as some chocolate chip cookies from Chips Ahoy. Now that my pigs in a blanket are done, they're nice and golden brown. I took them out of the oven and I'm just going to place a paper towel under my lunch compartment because I don't want it to get soggy. And here I'm doing some pesto pasta with mozzarella and sun-dried tomatoes. And I'll teach you how to make this recipe someday. I did this because I was going to stay after school and I didn't know how long I would stay. So I made sure to have dinner with a lunch as well. The next day I made my juice of the week and I'm using some pineapple chunks, spinach, and guayaba. And guayaba is like an island fruit and I was super surprised to find them here. These were very good but I decided to make them into juice. And I warn you guayaba has a lot of fiber. It's very healthy but it's very rich in fiber. One little guayaba has up to twice as much vitamin C as an orange. And so I suggest that if you make this juice, you drink it in moderation because if not, you're going to be in the bathroom a lot. After building up my juice, I placed them in mason jars and I did five mason jars, one for each day of the week. Except that it took me about two weeks to drink this juice um, just because I wanted to drink it in moderation like I said before. On Tuesday I made some turkey patties and these are frozen from my freezer. I decided to season these with some adobo, some pepper, and a little bit of oregano. Now I'm oiling my pan with some olive oil and I'm just gonna cook season side down and as the bottom cooks I'm gonna season the top. Now it is time to flip my patties. And soon after this, I put a lid over just so that the vapor cooks the patties and doesn't dry them out. And while this cooked, I decided to make my mayo ketchup sauce. I then took my burger buns out of the fridge and I put them in Ziploc bags individually. And I'm also doing some Cheetos on the side. I'm also placing that in a Ziploc bag. And finally, after checking the internal temperature of my patties, I saw that they were ready. So I placed them in a separate container so that later on when I'm ready to eat, I could just warm them back up. I'm placing the extra in an aluminum foil and putting it back in the fridge to eat later. And I'm also doing my guayaba and spinach juice. For Wednesday, I'm going to have some sweet potatoes and I cut these up differently. The first one I cut up skinny to eat 
now and then the rest I'm gonna store for later for some home fries. I'm also having some Brussels sprouts and I'm just trimming the ends of it and cutting it in half. After everything was cut, I decided to rinse them and wash them a little. And then I spray my pan with nonstick spray and I added my potatoes and my Brussels sprouts. I coated these in some olive oil and then I seasoned it with some salt and some pepper as well as some thyme and some garlic powder. I stirred this around and gave it a toss to evenly coat everything and I put these in the oven to bake until they smelled like they were ready. While that cooked, I prepared a side of chicken thighs and after I washed and cleaned these up, I did some garlic powder, some oregano, onion powder, some thyme, salt, and paprika. And this is smoked paprika and I only placed it on three of them as well as some chili powder because I wanted to season three of them differently and the other ones were going to be used for another recipe. I flipped these over and I seasoned them the same way. After these were done, I put them down in the air fryer and I let these cook until they were ready. I searched up the setting on YouTube to see which one was the best setting and so I did 380 for about 24 minutes. My, when my vegetables were about halfway done, I flipped them and I added a little bit of balsamic vinegar to my Brussels sprouts and I just stirred them around. I put those back in the oven and now I'm making a little glaze for my chicken thighs and I'm doing a whole bunch of garlic, just crushing these up and then finely mincing them. Now I'm putting down some olive oil to my pot, adding my garlic and allowing this to cook until it's aromatic. Then I added a little bit of chicken broth and some thyme. Now I'm adding some honey, stirring it together, and a little bit of smoked paprika. And then I waited till my sauce got a little bit thicker. And when my chicken thighs were done and out of the air fryer, I added these to the top. And I added the glaze to the three chicken thighs that had chili powder and smoked paprika. After this, I plated. I did one plate with Brussels sprouts and sweet potato and the other one without. And then I did the leftover Brussels sprouts on a separate container just to have throughout the week. On Thursday, I prepared my little bento box to make sort of like a lunchable and for the cheese I use fresh mozzarella pearls which is just little balls of mozzarella in a bag. I separated these out of the bag and this is so satisfying to do because they're all clumped together and then I also use some smoked oak ham and what I did was roll these up and then I cut them in half and then I placed them into the lunchbox so that it looks really cute and organized. Next, I'm doing some aceituna or olives, and these are the olives my mom uses to cook, but when I was little, I used to reach over the cabinet and just have these as a snack because I just like the saltiness of olives. And now I'm going to place my mozzarella balls. I'm placing a separator to make more room, and now I'm going to add the crackers that go with my Lunchable, and I'm just doing Ritz crackers. And this was the perfect amount. This is just a little size pack. And on the side, I'm having some cuties or mandarin oranges. And I'm having two of these. 
and just placing it in my lunchbox. I'm also going to do some grapes. I'm just separating these and making room for them. And this is the end result. I'm closing everything up and I'm going to have this lunch with my guayaba, spinach, and pineapple juice. On Friday, I didn't prepare my own lunch, but right after school, I went to this bubble tea shop, which is very cute and perfect for studying. This is a place where my friend and I go after school sometimes to get some work done. And this time I ordered some iced matcha tea. And I also did some rice cakes. I did some spam and crab and fried shrimp. This is my fried shrimp and crab and it just has mayonnaise in it, seaweed and rice and it's very delicious. And for the second one I did some spam and this took some strategy to take out because it's very easy to mess up but I'm getting the hang of it. And this one I actually added some egg and it was so good. 